Okay, boys and girls, it's time for lesson six. We're skipping a couple of lessons. Um, we're not doing lessons four and five. But um, what you're going to do for this lesson is you are going to create an app, or actually just design an app. Think about and brainstorm, come up with an idea for an app uh, just for practice. It's not the real one you're going to do for your project, but just for practice. So what you're going to need is the activity guide called User Interview. It's right here. So pause the video right now and go up and get these papers. Now that you have your papers, uh, we're ready to roll. I'm going to explain how to go through each step of doing this assignment. Okay, so the first step is you want to think of um, this question. What new thing do you want to learn and why? And I gave a sample answer, and let's read through it together. I put, I want to learn how to repair motorcycles, and I'm going to keep reading, because my family all like to go out to the desert and ride motorcycles and dune buggies. One time I was far away from where we were camping, and my motorcycle quit. We couldn't get it started, so I had to walk it all the way back. It was like three miles, and that motorcycle was heavy. I never want to do that again. Plus, if I know how to repair motorcycles, I can help my dad and my brothers and friends repair their motorcycles, too. So I want to take a second and talk about what's in my answer. First of all, you notice that I use complete sentences, and I gave a thorough explanation about why I want to repair motorcycles. I want to learn how to repair motorcycles. I gave a complete reason. There was a thing that happened that made me realize that I wanted to do that. So it's a very thorough explanation all the way through. Very detailed, you know, I was giving details all the way through. And, um, and, and not only did I want to learn just for myself, but I mentioned that it would be helpful for others too. So what I want you to think of right now, I want you to pause the video, I want you to think of something that you want to learn, and most importantly, why. Now take your time with this. Don't go on to the next part until you do this, and however long it takes is fine but do a thorough job and write your answer in this space right here for question one. Pause the video now. Now that you've finished answering question one, you can answer question two, which is what has or might get in the way of you learning what you want? And I provided a sample answer. Let's read through it together. I said, one thing that might get in the way of that is that we don't have a lot of extra money for me to go take classes or to pay someone else to teach me. Okay, that's gonna be a problem for a lot of people. Oh, there's the bell for first period. So I'm gonna keep reading. So I need to be able to learn it on my own. I could spend time watching YouTube videos, but I have a lot of homework too, and so I need a quick and easy way. <laughs> Forgive the announcements. And so I was picking up right here, and so I need a quick and easy way to look up what are some common problems with motorcycles with easy to read solutions like in an app about fixing motorcycles okay again i am being very thorough very detailed about what might get in the way of me learning what i want to learn and answering why the app would be a good idea so i want you to pause the video here give some good thought to answering question two and do a thorough and detailed job of answering that question don't go on until you do that. And once you're done with those questions, then it's time to start drilling down and asking some more specific questions, like uh, follow-up question one. You can see right here, you're gonna actually um, write it in this space right here. And it's a way to take your very broad goal, which was to for me to learn how to repair motorcycles, and start asking some specific questions. Let's look at what I put. Do I want to learn how to repair all types of motorcycles? All types? Or only certain types, like dirt bikes, instead of street bikes, or vice versa? Or do I want to only repair certain makes, like Yamaha and Suzuki, but not Honda? Okay, so take a moment and think of a follow-up question that you can ask of yourself that'll help you narrow down and be more specific about what your app is gonna do. Pause the video now and, answer, and put, that, put your question in the space. And now think of a couple more questions. You're going to do follow-up question, oops, follow-up question two and follow-up question three. Let's take a look at what I wrote. 
I said, do I want to focus only on certain types of repairs, like engine repairs, or do I also want to know how to repair the wheels and other parts of the frame, and also maybe repaint them? So you see what's happening here. I'm starting to ask specific questions instead of just generally saying, I want to repair all motorcycles, which maybe no one knows how to repair all motorcycles and every part of every motorcycle. That's a lot, right? So we're asking specific questions. Okay, so let's look at follow-up question three. <clears throat> I'm going to read down here. Do I also want to learn how to repair other types of desert recreational vehicles? You know, not just motorcycles, like dune buggies, or maybe other types of motorized equipment like lawnmowers. And then I put in parentheses, my uncle is a landscaper and uses his lawnmower every day. It would be awesome if I could help him fix it when it breaks down. He doesn't really know how to do it. And so again, I'm being very, very specific very specific using details okay and that's what I want to see from you so take your time pause the video here make sure these three uh, follow-up questions are created and you can see that I even have more than one question for each follow-up question there's a couple in each right so ask some specific questions about what your app is going to do what you're going to focus on you know and what what specifically you want to accomplish through your app what you want to learn now that you have filled out the sections on what you want to learn and follow-up questions, you need to do this part, which is uh, identifying barriers. Barriers would be something that would prevent you or an obstacle in your way from achieving your goal. And so I listed some barriers here. I already mentioned that money was a barrier, right? Time is also going to be a barrier since I'm a student. And also, uh, I put parent approval might also be a barrier since studying how to repair motorcycles might distract me from my homework or take time away from me doing my homework. So my parents not, might not like that. So these are all reasons why I may not be able to accomplish my goal. So pause the video now and think of as many barriers that are going to be in your way of achieving what you want to learn. Do that now. Okay, here's the fun part. Turn to this page here and I want you to do this. You do not have to do any of that part. <laughs> all the way from where it says try, all the way down to the end right here, the last bullet point. So all that you can just cross out. Pause the video now and do that. Okay, boys and girls, now here is where I want you to really take some time. If it takes you a couple of days to do this, that's fine. But let's look at what this is. This is called a navigation diagram. And let's look at what it is. It's the directions say, draw simple sketches of your screens in the space below. So what you're drawing are the screens that you would see in your app or what you would see when you create your app, okay? Then it says, draw arrows showing how a user would navigate between your screens. Here is an example of a completed navigation diagram. You can see that there are some very simple sketches, oops, like on the home screen, there's a title, and there's a way for me to see if I glanced at this, that if I press this little button right here, it's going to lead me to this screen. And then from that screen, if I press this button, whatever it says, it's going to lead me to this screen. And then when I get to that screen, you can see that the text layout in all these screens is very simple. The text and image layout is also very simple, like on this screen. There's only one image and a little bit of text and a button, right? So I want you to think about in no more than six screens, okay? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I want you to lay out what your app is going to say, what it's going to look like, what images are going to be on there. Don't worry if you can't draw them. Just do your best. You do sketches, very quick sketches. I want you to lay out what text might be uh, written there. I want you to show me all the buttons and links that the app is going to have. And most of all, I want you to show me where, if I click a button, where it's going to lead me. Okay, you can see that this button right here and this button both lead to the same screen. And that's okay. You can do it like that too, okay? You can do it like that. So take a look at this. Let me unclutter this a little bit. 
And I want you to now, um, oh, hang on, I'm going to pause the video myself and pause record. Now, and this, uh, when you're, on, you're doing this part of the paper, I want you to do the same thing that you just saw where you are filling out the screens with images and text and maybe other images or other buttons. You lay it and maybe some more text down here. Um, however you want to lay it out, but then you show me that where each click is going to take me, you draw arrows. I'm try not to make it too complicated, but you know, if it is complicated, it's okay. So take a good long time to really lay out how your app is going to work, how you're going to go from screen to screen, the text that's going to be on there, any images that are going to be on there. Okay, so you're going to take a good long time to think this through and complete this part of the assignment. So go ahead and pause the video now. And now you're going to basically create your app. Just writing this down. Create your app and do the navigation diagram. It doesn't have to have six screens, but it can have six screens. Try not to make it any more than six screens for this practice round. Okay, boys and girls, good luck with that. I'm sorry, I forgot one section. This is at the bottom, I believe, of one of your papers, and you just need to answer these questions. What type of app will help you address your user's needs? And I put, I will need an educational app because I want to learn how to repair motorcycles. And then in this part, it says, in the space below, list the minimum features. Okay, so this is how you plan out what's going to go in your navigation diagram. Okay, and I put, my app should have a search searchable database of all the kinds of problems that motorcycles can have. It should also have an index of videos that users can watch to help them understand how to fix the problems. It would be great if next to each video there were links that people could click that would let them order any parts they might need to help them in the repairs, right? So you could, it could be like a gateway to shopping for your parts. Also, if the problem is too big to handle, the app should have links to other professional mechanics so that the users could easily book appointments to bring in their motorcycles or dune buggy to get it fixed. So this is where you plan everything out and then you go to the navigation diagram and show me how it works. Good luck, boys and girls. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. Okay, bye-bye. Good luck.